What's up, movie Chivish Moran fans? It's me again. I'm back for another Shmodan reaction. Now, this time it's between Moose Haas and Amaru Moses. And, uh, well, uh, full disclosure, uh, last week, uh, I, from my point of view at least, I kind of said on um, the Ultimate Shmodan after show in the live chat that I believed Moose Haas was going to win by TKO. And, uh, well... Last night, from my point of view, I was kind of proven wrong on that by both Amaru Moses and his brother Emmanuel. And, uh, well, uh, yeah, so now I am wearing the usual suspects hoodie for this match, uh, because it's gonna look good in the thumbnail, am I right? Now, actually, no, uh, the, the, the real reason is I I am not afraid to admit when I'm wrong, and I was. Uh, Musas just uh, really impressed me in his debut match, and uh, I just uh, jumped the gun a little, which happens sometimes, uh, especially to me, especially with the schmodown. I can go on seriously, but all that being said. Uh, I haven't watched the match, obviously. I haven't, I haven't even listened to the conversation on the Ultimate Smart After Show. I muted the whole thing because I wanted to avoid spoilers as much as possible. Clearly, I already know who won. So, there's that. But, how they won, how Amaru won, is a different uh, story. I always say it's not about who wins and who loses, it's about how the game was played. And I'm definitely interested to see, um... Amaru Moses proved me wrong for definitely not the last time. I'll just say that. Obviously, I will be participating myself just to, you know, see how well I can fare in, in this uh, arena. And, uh, well, this being inner geekdom, it is my strength. So, uh, so uh, yeah, let's just uh, very quickly watch the match and see how Amaru Moses meet, uh, meet beat Moose Haas. Sorry, too many M's. And, uh, anyways, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. This one is different. <laughs> this is a different episode all together and i'm going to explain exactly why um we have an absolutely tremendous tremendous post-production team i mean everything that we've been able to do in the digital schmodown era has because as is because of the hard work the blood the sweat and the tears that the production team puts into it um we're trying to do some transitions as we move to in studio we're trying to do transitions as we get to live events and we're trying to make the show better for you each and every day um for those people who don't know what a tricaster is TriCaster is something that we've always used forever, and we're just getting it implemented back into these new shoots. Technical things happen. We had a big shoot one day where we had a whole bunch of matches that were happening, and there was a technical difficulty with one of the matches. Unfortunately, on this particular match that you're about to watch today, the sound was not available. We lost it. We lost the sound, simple as that. And so what we thought that we were going to do this particular moment, because it's such an important match, because the winner of this match between Amaru Moses and um, Moose Haas will go Moose. on to play Saul for the number one oh, contender match defense. at Collision. So it was very important for you guys to see it, for stats to be kept up. And Mark Ellis and I decided, hey, dude, we've done this before. Let's just have a, um, a, a conversation you and I, but we'll do it and we'll commentate the match together. So it's kind of a special thing that we're going to be doing today. Mark, anything else to add? Good to see you too, Christian. Uh, yeah, this is going to be episode four of the big it's thing where Christian and I just talk about whatever, except it's over a match that was, I was there for this match, folks. I announced this match alongside the great Andrew Guy, and it is intense. It comes down to the wire. It is very well played by both parties. Moose and Amaru really impressed I me and both seemed worthy of that number that. one contender shot. Unfortunately, again, 
tech glitches happen occasionally and you can't hear my golden voice. And so what we're going to do is run the match. Christian and I are going to talk over it. We'll commentate. We might crack some jokes. We are just going to have as much fun as we can. But we also want you to experience a little bit of that drama that certainly Andrew, myself and Jen Sturger were feeling that day. And before we get to all that, Christian, the kids like drama. So check this out. I think we at least have sound for the promo. Yeah, because it's done separately. I would imagine. Now you see the celebratory, but not perhaps a wholly unexpected victory for Gucci and his newest experiment, which paid off brilliantly in the form of Moose Haas. Who do you want to take on next, Moose? Amaru, come out to play. We're crushing factions one at a time. People look at me as the boy who cried wolf. That's just stupid. And you know, Sam's got another, uh, you know, IG character in his staple that, uh, you know, we'll see if, uh, how he does against us. Overhyped. Yep. Not worth the number two pick. Heard that one. Underperformed. It was the number two well, or the number one? Said that about myself. I can't so. remember. All I got left is knock off Gucci says I'm the worst pick in the draft, he said that already. Bingo! Yeah, buddy! Ready for this one, let's go. What up, family? It's your boy, Amaru, and I am back for my second showdown match. I get to play Moose Haas, and I get to get my revenge. Jacob, I got you, fam. The man went almost perfect, so I know we gonna have to come out slugging, we gonna have to come out swinging, it ain't gonna be like my last match. I'm, I'm low-key not happy about my performance, but I don't care because I got the win, and I have 19 points in a bad game. <laughs> That's Sorry, it. I figured I'd just wait my turn because I assumed Amaru was still running his mouth. When you saw what I did to your teammate, Jacob Whitmaven, so I earned this one. You stumbled your way through a victory. You kind of did, yeah. I have to assume that you're going to put up a good fight. I have to assume you know your stuff and you are the number one rookie overall, right? And I called you out so I could test my medal against you, pal. And then you go and get cocky. Amaru, come out to play. Well... Be careful what you play. wish for, Moose Haas. But I don't think he knows the Warriors very well. The guy who does the cookie thing, he gets stabbed. So. It doesn't matter what happened to Jacob. What matters Where is that you is and he? I are going to be playing each other. Under different circumstances, I feel like we will be friends, right? We obviously have similar tastes in movies. We both have receding hairlines. But unfortunately, you play for the suspects. And I like to thump on suspects. So I'm coming to thump for you on the road. Look, a win is a win, is a win, is a win, is a win. But it's the I win. ain't got nowhere to go but up. Mark, you gotta do something that not many people have done. Go perfect in two matches in a row. Can you yeah. do that, fam? Again, there is a reason. I mean, a very good reason. Uh, Amaru Moses was the number one pick the for the usual Went suspects. Rounds, Amaru I mean. is gonna eat him up for breakfast, but if that's what he wants, then hey, I don't have to pay for a meal and my guy eats. This has happened. Moose Amaru. You know, Get the more I, I see this t-shirt, the it's more I coming. like it. I really ain't got much bad to say about you, but you fake Gucci belt wearing manager though. I heard you, man. You go see what this worst pick is all about. Let's get it. You know what? I'm seriously considering buying that Finstock Exchange TKO shirt because I have a TKO on my record now, so I think it will be appropriate. I mean, well, as you see, this is a very I big know, match just a thought. for both of these factions. Both the Finstock Exchange and the Usual Suspects have an opportunity to get a number one contender match. You know, the Usual Suspects need it. They would love to try to get an additional four points should they pick up the three points here today. Um, this is big, and it's big for Amaru Moses. The kid was the number two draft pick overall. He has um, impressed. He is one and zero at the moment. His first match, he even says it himself, it wasn't his 
favorite match. Mm -hmm. Can he advance and get to 2-0? And, and hey, then Moose an Haas comes court. out of nowhere. This was a guy that Appreciate was drafted that. by Finstock, and Finstock was drafting all of these rookies, and all of them has delivered, and that certainly was the case with Moose Haas when he yeah, just annihilated for Jacob uh, Whitney. Can't argue with that. It's one of those things where you look at both of these fellas, and I think that after the fans watch the match that's about to play out, they're going to realize that whoever wins this match, Christian, should probably be nicknamed the silent assassin for right. multiple reasons. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we're going to get this thing underway again. Uh, Christian and I know, as you've probably witnessed in Inner Geekdom matches the past, silent, very the little about the questions uh, or Adam the answers, Rickers, but I have in front of me that day, as did Andrew. And so we're going to play it out. We're going to keep you all company, and we're going to try to get you as invested in possible in a match that both I know Amaru and Moose put their heart, soul into, blood, sweat, and tears were involved, and it was a damn fine match by both parties. You ready to get going, partner? Let's do it. Let's hit the music. Let's get ready to schmutter out. I can put that in there. How well, about, about, about a 60% effort on your part? Oh, I liked it. I'm so curious to see, though, as you say, because you and I are terrible at these inner geek time matches, if you're going to be able to get any of these questions. All right, here's the what? first one. What is the first film in the MCU that. that Jeremy Renner appears in as Hawkeye? Uh, yeah, we just go back and forth like this. Uh, I think the answer is Thor. You think it's Thor? Now, again, I was here for the match, but you know me. It's in one ear, out I, the other. I wrote it down Five, before four, he said it, so three, I guess it still counts. Two, one. Let's see what the answer was. Mark. You said Thor. I think you're right. Was Thor, and let's uh, let's spin it. He said Thor. It's it's, it's a that's a good 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 championship, I guess. And Thor was what moves. So it's one one. Mm -hmm. uh, they start out, and you knew how important it was for both these guys. And this could be the first person that that Finstock Exchange ever has go for an IG title. All right, question, question two, Christian. It's in Middle Earth. Which yeah. character in Return of the King says the line? Certainty of death, small chance of success. What are we waiting for? That kind of sounds like us right now. That sounds like Gimli. That sounds like Gimli. Yeah. If I was to guess that one, Gimli, what would you say? Oh, here we go. We're going to find out in a second. Let them answer, Mark. Yeah. We're going to find out. Again, I wrote it down before Christian said it. Why are you counting down so but low? Clearly, I know counting? this. Hey, I, I like to give them time. You know, I like to milk it. No, they, they got it. And it was oh, Gimli. Gimli is not spelled with a Y, apparently. Yet. Oh. He seems pretty confident. Yeah. But I still got yeah. Gimli. All right, so, so it's two yeah. two. It's two two as they as is they both Lee? are going at Studio it. They're both, you can, look at the intensity on both their eyes though, too. Yeah, I, I I love both these competitors, by the way. Question three. Fantasy sci-fi. How many times did Peter Weller play the role of Robocop? This is a trick question. The answer is two. What really? You're supposed to ask me and I'm supposed huh. to ask you. Oh, sorry. You're already messing you know? up. I already knew that from my research based on the Robocop versus Terminator versus episode on Rotten Tomatoes. I was Four. gonna Three, Go two, one, two? zero. Who goes out? Moses Four goes. It, Moses will reveal. Wasn't hundred percent sure on it, so. Two. It's a good trick. I mean, because there's three RoboCop movies. Yeah, yeah two. That almost looked like yeah, that's seven. what they're, they're going to try to get you with because there's a third one. He didn't play. Well, there's four point, now, but... but there's three in the four. original what? trilogy. No. I'm not going to. And something. then oh, and Peter Weller only did the first two. Right, right, right. right. Go ahead, Can read. you name? Okay, I'll ask you this. In Pirates of the Caribbean: The Curse of the Black Pearl, which character does Norrington refer to when he says? You're without a doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. You just said that along with your voice, by the way. That was really good. Uh, I'm, I'm a pro. You want me to answer this? I'm the one here. Yes, I do. We're, we're competing. Jack Sparrow, right? I don't. But you have heard of me. It's, me in my mind, it is two to one Ellis right now. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. All right. So now who reveals this one? Uh, uh, Moose. Moose. Yeah, Jack Sparrow. See, don't, don't, don't mess with me, Mark. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to challenge for that IG title. <laughs> Do you know bad, how embarrassing that would be if we did that? Well, uh, well yeah, Amaru is certainly taking the point and getting a leg up on Moose in penmanship terms on that last one. I think so. So right now it is 4-4. They're both tied. They're both uh, hanging in there, and they're both earning it at the moment. There's 10 questions, and obviously in round number one. It's kind of hard but to write the questions before in they say them. it. Here we go. Okay, Here's Christian, what's my chance to take the lead? All right. All right, that's right. I'll, I'll, I'll give this one to you. Even if I know it, I won't answer, okay? But so far, I'm 4-4. I'm, I'm, four for four. I'm doing pretty well. You're, hey, it's two to one. It's two to two now. Okay. Here's the next one. Yeah, but you know the answers. I love how you're just now realizing this. Question five, X Men. The characters of William Stryker, Victor Creed, Agent Zero, and Gambit appear in what X Men universe film? Oh dear God. Well, Gambit is in um, X Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, the other people confuse me. 
So I'm gonna go X Men Origins Wolverine. Five, four. With the three, Roger Rabbit claws. Two, one. Pens down, hands up. And we start this time with Moose. Right? Moose. Or is there Amara? Who do we start with? Oh, Moose. X Men Origins Wolverine. Wrong. You're right. Wolverine. You're right. The only Origins. movie so far and that Moose? Gambit has appeared in. What you got? Moose. See, Got it. they were they were so locked in and focused, but they also were having a little bit of fun with each other and they were enjoying the game, which is what I love, especially with this new rookie crop coming in. They know how to play the game. They love the game. They have fun with the game, but there's no lack of intensity. All right. So right now you're it's you're winning, you're up by one Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, in which film in the Star Wars universe features performances from Jimmy Smith's Genevieve O'Reilly and Forrest Whitaker? Rogue. Christian, I think we're going to be tied. Rogue One. Yes. All right, That's so incorrect. I don't think either one of them misses this. We were looking for Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you, I say Rogue One, and we're going to have to do Pens down, pens down, hands up. We go this time. Oh, Moose, put your hands down. Uh, here, a Moose. You know they can't hear you. I know. Rogue One. Rogue One, a Star Wars, Star Wars story. Wars. Would you not accept it, Rogue One? I don't That's get into the name of the movie. Okay. Get over it. Rogue One. Okay, he said it. You got it. So, like, I wonder. There are some competitors that would have challenged uh, Amaru's uh, answer there. I would have would not have ruled. In uh, I don't do hypotheticals, way. but as yep. you can see, he got the point. Yeah. All right. Here's the next one. This is Star Trek. Hit me. In Star Trek 2009, which character says to Kirk, "Yeah." Well, I got nowhere else to go. The ex-wife took the whole damn planet in the divorce. Uh, that sounds like a uh, Dr. McCoy What's to me. Name? There's a chance it's Scotty, it's but I think I'm going Dr. whatever McCoy. If I just wrote Dr. McCoy, I think that's Bones McCoy. Three, two, one, and hands down. Hands down. Pens, pens, pens down. Hands, hands down, up. pens up. Is it Nero? Bones. Yeah, I would. I, oh, yeah. Moose, I accept Bones. And Bones. Moose. See, I, I thought I thought it he's, was he's, 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 dude, you and I, you and I should okay. should be in this league, in this division. We're doing all right, Sophia. Wait till round two. It's over. <laughs> and again, the guy who had the answers in front of him, I'm going to get nothing struggling. in round two. You're still struggling. You still have to think about it. Way too hard. Uh, who, all right, right, Christian. All who right. plays? Can I ask you this. I ask you. What are you doing? I ask you this. Okay. Who plays the role of the villainous Orm in Aquaman? Aquaman. That is. Uh, the villainous Orm. Yeah, come on. Five, four, three, two. Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, you finally get one wrong. All right. Let's Patrick go. Wilson. With, uh, it's not Defoe, right? Hey, he was Patrick a good guy. Patrick Wilson. Oh, damn it. Dummy. And here's, uh, <laughs> and here's Moses. Well, I'm not scoring Mark and Christian. Patrick no. Wilson. So they both got it. Okay. So well, they go up, and I, I have an opportunity to go up here. Yeah, right? Good luck with that. I think so. Have you seen Patrick Wilson sing uh, Queen? It's unbelievable. You really? Can he belt it out? Dude, I'm interested. He's a okay, better yeah, singer between Amaru Moses and uh, Moose Haas. Say Amaru. Haas has a deep bass yes. voice. Yes. All right, Christian. You'll find Pawnee, a tiny alien warrior voiced by Kamel Nanjani, in which Men in Black film? Oops. Shoot. All the pressure. Got to be the third one. Christian hasn't felt the white hot spotlight third, of the movie trivia All right. The one with the griff. I think you're wrong. I think it's Men in Black International. Is that the second one? It's the fourth one. Damn it. Oh, uh, is there Men a fourth one? We saw it together, dear. I, I, oh, there is I the fourth one, right? Which you want to with, with uh, Josh Brolin? Is it the third or the fourth one? That's the What's third one. That's, a, that's the worst movie, maybe the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. All right, so we're tied. So yeah. gotten, they, they, both these guys are definitely better than I am. I'll pay that much. Yeah, you and I are tied though. So yeah, we are. How are you going to go up one? That doesn't make any sense. I only missed. Oh, because I'm, I'm just going to ask you this for fun. Laura yeah. Haddock plays. You see what happens when we don't prep for matches, folks? Plays Vivian Wembley. And this is a match I've already seen. A professor of English literature at Oxford in which Transformers movie? <laughs> Come on. Uh, you and I can team up for this if you I want. Don't know. It's the last night because oh. British, you know. Oh, I get History. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who King cares? Arthur. Last I, I night. All right, so Moose fallen. gets it for a potential perfect round. Mm -hmm. And how about Moses? Moses. See? These guys are good. All right, so we got exactly what we thought we were going to get here. Perfect round for both these cats. So we got Not Moses me, with 10. 
Haas with 10. It is 10-10, looking for a perfect round for both of them. Both vying for that shot Wait, to get into the oh. number one oh, yeah, contender no. match at Collision those, those, at the end of July. This And by the way, for those people who didn't know, Collision is going to be a hybrid event. It's going to yep. be digital and in studio. All right, here's the bonus question. Who makes a cameo as forensics assistant Jack Kirby in 2003's Daredevil? You know this okay. one? If you get this, I'll give you the lead. Because we're, we're technically tied, I think, even though That's we already messed up wrong the order. One question. Richard Dreyfus. Dude, cameo, Daredevil. Uh, I, know, I, know. I, I tried oh, to get you to Jennifer guess. Garner? Huh? Jennifer Garner? No, I tried to get you to guess Stan Lee, but the answer is oh. our boy. Well, who's our boy? We have a lot of... Kevin Smith? Kevin Smith? Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. He's competing huh. soon. He is at the collision. I didn't know that. tried to lead you right into it. He sure did. Same circle of friends. All right, 11 11. 11 11. And so Moses and Haas tied up at the moment. Big, big round one for both of it, the rookies. And an opportunity. Years. Whoever wins that collision match, whoever wins that collision match will have three victories, whether it's Saul or whether it's either a Moose or Amaru. Moose. So this is Sorry, crucial. Three reflex. match, I three straight help. victories. In well, it's not just the three victories. It's, it's going to be who they might face to get their fourth victory. Well, their fourth is the title shot. I know. That's what I was leading you in. See, we're trying to is build up yeah. excitement. Well, that's the title. Sorry, yeah, that's, that's right. That's what happens. You get a number one contender match, you get a shot at a championship. That's kind of why. I'm just spelling it out for the fans, oh. Christy. Well, they're spelling it out because they can read round number two. It's the wheel round. Moose Haas is going to have an opportunity. No, no, excuse me. Moses, because he was the higher ranked, he'll have an opportunity. I'm, sure I'm watching TV uh, with my grandpa. It should be. It's it exactly high, how it goes. But, you know, it is It is fun to watch. Moose had the higher accuracy. Honest. Can I tell you this, though? So how, with how does that Haas work? and Moses, they both had some interesting backstories during this. Oh, yeah. kid, Here comes this. Cat. Dude, this cat, this cat was a was a thing going through the whole match because I did not know he had this cat. I don't remember it's the cat. The cat, cat. cat didn't seem like it wanted to be there. Everybody was worried for the cat's well-being. It was, it was a whole thing. Look at that. That is not... A healthy relationship that between cat doesn't pet have owner a mouth. and pet. It only has like, eyes. Because I don't know if it is a pet is. owner. I think he probably just stole it out of his neighbor's backyard. No. <laughs> I, I think it's a sock puppet right there. Absolutely. Like, that cat <laughs> wants out. It's Mr. Wants, Sacco. Like, big, look, as see long as I've known him, I would, look, I, I, <laughs> I would love to see that cat just give him a right hook. Not not draw blood, but just like smack him right across the jaw. All right. Here's, yeah. Yeah, here is yeah. the categories. That's the categories scary. are on the wheel. And the spin. Oh, so, the yeah, so the Moses spin. obviously deferred. And here is the spin, and it's going to land on TMNT. TMNT. Now, do you remember if he takes this or not? Take off four um, letters, I believe he does, and I also believe it stands for Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortoises. Tortoises. It should be. That should, well, that should be the reboot. They've done the turtles I mean, too many that's times. That's what they are. They're land the turtles. Backlash. They're tortoises. They're Can not turtles the because tortoises? turtles live in the ocean. <laughs> Everybody's fired. Or, it. you know, it's gonna fresh be water. To have turtles live in the, yeah, in the so water. Now, so, uh, tortoises so here's, here's live on land. Too. Uh, they should be Teenage Mutant They're Ninja right. Tortoises. Cats. Are you still out of your neighbor's backyard? That's the spin we got to get. <laughs> Guarantee that cat did not wake up as the cat You're of wrong. Tom Dagnino. You're wrong. <laughs> um, unless it lands on TMNT again, which is very oh, well. No. Right We've asked a lot of turtles questions. Middle Earth. The Earth that's in mm. the middle. What do you think? He's, I wonder. I, I don't I mean, look, I'll tell you this. For my comfort level, I would have taken TMNT all day. I am not, I'm with you. I'm not a big, if I can get something in that wheel that I think that I remotely can get, I stick with it because with the amount, and by the, the amount of opponent's choice that have been coming up on the digital wheel, I stay away. I stay It's away. completely random. You're in your head with these conspiracy theories. It's not conspiracy theories. It's just because right. that slice is on the wheel more, more than any other slice. Other ones get put in there and whether it's the algorithm or whatever it is, it, that's, it's, it, 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 the, the digital wheel has no idea what king. name is on know. each way. I know, Middle Earth, Middle Earth, in the return of, of the king. What no. are the last words no spoken by the witch king me. of Angmar? Okay, you, you, you and I should team up for these. Are you kidding me? No man can kill um, me. I think it's like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go see you in hell. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up. What did he say? We don't even know what he said. No, we're not going to know. We're not gonna know what he said. We're just gonna find out if he got it right or not. See, this is the. No. I can try to pull up the document, um, but uh, 
Probably not. Looks like he yeah. missed. Did he miss and go for? And it looks like a potential steal opportunity, right? Yeah. Now I might be able to get some of these with multiple choice, but right. um, well, Moses has an opportunity to steal because it looks like Moose missed. Yes, I think that that was a a moment in the match. Let me see if those are still in the document that I have right here in front of me. They both missed. They both missed. Uh, so Moose missed the opportunity. He went for it on two points. Damn Moses it. attempted to steal it. Uh, also missed it. So we have to find out what that, whatever that answer was. Um, we'll yeah, find dude, out. our, our writers are so on it now. They already, it's already out of the document. And, and I, in I the used grave, to know yeah. this. Middle the, Earth. The question two: Who provides the voice of the necromancer in, in an unexpected journey? I like, think that's Benny it? Cumberbatch. So Didn't you do hard both? Not knowing what the answers are. You might wow. have. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to find out. He got it right. Look up he got the, it right because uh, he got two points there. Right? First question. But I'll do that so later. Is this, an, is this a third point? All right, here's the third question. He got that right. So Middle Earth question three. Actor William Squire voices which character that in 1978? It's the Lord of the Rings. Any one of these questions, I'm gonna if guess it's a Gandalf. voice and it's the 78 one, I would guess Gollum. I don't know William Squire. Sorry to his family. I would have guessed Gollum, and that's not even an option. Three, so I'm gonna two, need my phone soon. one, multiple choice on so the table. Let's say up. Gandalf. And let's the see. Answers. Did he get it right? Can't tell if he got it right. See, this is the difficult part about this town part. So it looks. We did. Look, look, we're here to entertain a nation. Yes. Okay. Oh, he asked for a repeat. Yeah, looks for a repeat. like it. Nice. Wait, that's my phone. So what did he do? Hold he. On. All right, I'm looking up William Squire. We're at <laughs> least getting this one it, right. It's Frodo, so it, it's incorrect. So now I guess that Moses is going to get an opportunity to steal here. So Moose missed two questions so far. He is um, Gandalf. Yeah, the answer is Gandalf. Okay, so Amador has an Gandalf, opportunity so I'm giving myself to a point for that. steal it here. Can he guess Gandalf? That is the question. So what do you call him? Gandalf. <laughs> Gandalf. You want, to, you want to go New York style? Gandalf. Uh, he got it. He got it. You're the one from New York. You realize that. Watch your mouth. Moses got uh, an extra point. Steals it. 13, 12. Hot Huge one. steal. But that's why I, I do love the five questions in round two for inner geekdom because it does give you a chance to recover if you have a stumble. Uh, which Peter Jackson Middle Earth film received the lowest number of Oscar nominations? Only receiving one for sound editing. Only nominations. receiving one for sound editing. Well, it's got to be one of the Hobbit movies. Um, definitely yeah, one of the probably Hobbits. Go, uh, I'd probably uh, go Battle of the probably Five Armies. Probably Battle of the Five, five Armies. Four. Let's see, what did he answer? You See, but this is where, as a competitor, you know you got to hit these because it's oh, he, so close. Shoot, did Moose miss that one? Or is it was it a repeat? Because it looks like it was a repeat. So that was the second repeat. That he missed. Yeah. Yeah, that was the second repeat. Unless this is Moses. That, it looks like Moses is, is thinking about it. So Last maybe... Word. So maybe... Well, he's going to be thinking about it anyway, Christian. I, no, but it looks like he's... No, no, it was. It's he not, answered. Did he get it? The five armies... Wow, so and Moses stole two. Wow. So Moses that's stole another point for me. Gigantic steal. Damn. See, I haven't seen this match, by the way, for those people. This is my first time watching it. So, um, well, thanks for attending the prep meeting. No, I didn't want to. I wanted to react to it. I didn't know that he stole that many. Look at that. So that's that's a lot. So Haas Moses needs to Haas needs to come back somehow here too. Um, Moses, 14, 13, and this is question five. It's the last question in this round. Moses has to hit this. Excuse me, excuse me. Moose needs to the hit ring, this. In the Fellowship of the Ring, who says he has fallen into shadow? The quest stands upon the edge of knife. Stay but a little, and it will fail to the ruin of all. Yeah, that is Sounds like something probably the toughest country. question to even guess around for yeah. me, but Haas got it right off the bat. Who knows? I, I think know maybe Gandalf? I don't know. I don't know. That's that, like I said. You're not going to get. This isn't a typical Shona match where you're going to know. Well, what, what, what was it? There's going to be a lot of that in this. Well, round. we're giving everybody a lot of stuff to ask Jeeves about after the show. That's absolutely true. Yeah. So we just wanted to make sure that we updated. We know that right now you want to keep it for the stats. You know, Moose, uh, he hit that one. And now what we're going to do is that Sam's going to come in. Sam's going to talk to Moses, and he's going to be very excited about this. Um, yeah. Sam and I, pioneers of the green screen. Yeah, look at Sam's hair. What about it? I know, it, it like it's like it grows up. See that? Um, how does your hair? Sure does your hair, hair grow down changes. into your eyeballs? Sometimes, but not like I'm talking about just straight up. 
He might have used product, Christian. Maybe. You know, since you started shaving your head every other Wednesday, you I'm really start to start forget how hair works. Yeah, it's, look, I don't go to the barber anymore. I just if it gets too long, I just sh ship it off. What number are you? Uh, I was at a two the other day. Shop it probably should have been at a three. Because my 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 hair length at the moment is is. Is that why you're wearing the hat? Yeah, I just say. Come on, nah, take it off. Same give length. Of nah, give me get lost. Uh, here is the um. Here is the spin by Amaru Moses. Yeah, and here's how we're going to play this, is that once the questions emerge, I'm going to ask Christian, and the over-under is three total points for Christian. Oh, yeah, you're, giving, you're being too optimistic. Oh, wait, mixed this bag? Is... You can't. you got to spin away from mixed bag. Yeah. I was no spinning man can away from mixed bag. But Amaru, he needs a big round here. Oh, Dino. That's what's that's the, the last away. I'm the trying to think of what word. my strategy would be with mixed bag, where maybe you think it's okay, so more surface it level because it's mixed, but I just don't feel like that's the case with these kind of questions. IG, you never, not, not, not in a match and, uh, where you're getting close to a number one contender match. Again, gonna, fun gonna, is it, these guys are going to be tested, awesome. right? I mean, look so, at yeah. Amuska got tested in that round, you know, and he, he fought it off. But he's only up by one point going into this round. Moses, Especially put, if that's your first spin, you have nothing to lose. Because if you spin opponent's choice, there's a chance they're just going to give you a mixed bag Whoa! anyway. And I'll look at this. Opponent's choice. Opponent's choice. So um, there I mean, you go. So now the question is, what does he give him? What is he but this is where you start thinking right that, that maybe it's going to even out because, yeah, Moose size. gave away a couple steal opportunities, but now uh, opponent's uh, choice, what can Moose so saddle I, I, Moses nine with? nine or ten, right. depending on how um, that quote I, question now, right? You know, same thing. Uh, you know I, was, uh, uh, yeah. I was figuring it's out that we could uh, give this guy up, uh, to look up, so I'm not even a Meryl Streep movie. It's not a point to that point. Gucci looks like a tourist who's trying to act like a poker player. Right. Yeah. You know what? He kind of looks like Alan Smithy, the Shmoda, the... Fold the hand. Fan personality. And I am saying something. That was, was from really my other Ryan setup Chandler, that day. Yes, I had I to shoot that, uh, a couple Just TV things that morning. Very proud of you. Oh. And here it is. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, Moses and I have this. Uh, he's got a little bit. No, he's got a little less night hair on his head than I do right now. Okay. Oh, you How much? It. I wonder if his grows up. Maybe my my you know, my right? uh, my What's daughter's hair grows up Moses too. Still doesn't have a nickname. I, I think that's how. Not, okay, Christian. Jack Fantasy sci-fi. Yes, Which sir. actor plays Jason, the Red Ranger, in 2017 Power Rangers? Again, Christian uh, needs Deacon three Montgomery. points here. Deacon I was Montgomery. just thinking about him today. Deacon, Mon Deacon Montgomery. Uh, How are we going to know? From, gonna tell, uh, you're going to tell Stranger me. Things. Uh, am Wait, I? He said Deacon Montgomery, so is that right? Deacon Montgomery, yeah. He's right. So I got two points. Are you sure he said Deacon Montgomery? Yeah, suck on it, Alice. Yeah, I, so I, you, you talk about I can read lips, a kid with great hair. By the way. Dacre Montgomery is that kid. Yeah. Holy crap. You did a showdown. Fantasy sci-fi. Go ahead. What 2000s film co-stars Jim Broadbent, James McAvoy, and Georgie Henley? Is that Wanted? I don't know. The I'm Chronicles of Narnia, the Look it up. Lion, the Witch, the Wardrobe? You, you, do you not have a computer? He gave a really long answer, so what he it wasn't it wasn't wanted. It, I, was, so, I got so it right. I, I got Whatever it right. Whatever his answer was, it was the, the first Narnia movie. Oh no, you movie. know what it was? I think it was Chronicles of Narnia. Okay, that's exactly what it was. It yeah. was one of those, The Lion, the Witch, and the uh, Wardrobe. I believe. The ultimate God, penalty in the film okay, Dread. Okay, um, the death. ultimate penalty in the film but Dread below. is death. But below that is various lengths of time spent where. Oh yeah, I need you to watch this that movie. One. I need Watching to watch the original Dread with Rob Schneider. Christian. First one's terrible. Come on. Wow. Is your best friend Sylvester Stallone going to blow up your Instagram? I am the law. Oh, okay. Cryo now sleep, I got a plus I one. Black black cryo box. sleep would no, be cryo great sleep. for me. Uh, I'm going to say it's ISO cute. Black box. Okay. Speaks well, to you me. can look that up. I. Hold on. B. He said B. Well, it's yep. ISO cute. All right. So I got three I points. So I tied you. So I tied it. It's ISO do you have three? Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now, Christian, for the lead. But Moses has a four-point lead over Haas at the moment. Right, but you, if if you have the kind of second round that Haas Why did, you make, you make, film begins with a as your opponent, you want to make sure you get in with over five points talisman. in round three. What 1980s fantasy and film begins with a sacred object known as a talisman that's about to be destroyed? 1980s? Uh, time... He's multiple multiple choice. Choice. All right, I get multiple choice. It's Sonia, Conan the Barbarian, Flash Gordon, Conan the Destroyer. Hmm. Conan the Destroyer. No, 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 I, no, no, I'm no. I'm guessing it's Red Conan Sonya. the Barb. 
Red Sonya. It's red, red Sonya. Okay. How confident are you? Not. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Any Conan the 80s Barbarian. movie, and I get that but question with no multiple didn't choice. Go for I'm just it saying. Right enemy away. Mine. Let's see. But I know it's not Flash Gordon. I don't know. Sir. He said Flash Gordon. Wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. All right. So he he said Flash Gordon. That was wrong. So take Moose your hand off has your lips. Moose. To steal I need he to needs the steal. It's 19. This is a massive steal from Moose. So you're gonna re-ask the question. It was a lengthy one. Yes. Did you? Do you have? The, we don't have the answers in front of us. I'm and I gotta give him the Conan options. The Barbarian. Yeah. So you're Red Sun, you're Conan the Barbarian. You got it right, but I don't know what he said. Red Sun. Uh, I I said that is Red Sun. He's correct. Yeah. All right. So I got four points. Okay. Look at me. See. Yes, it is. Red I can't Sonya. wait. I, I just wish I could see the look is on your Red parents' Sonya face when you tell them. I have the, I have the same amount of points as Moses in this round. I think, don't I? Yeah. I think I uh, easy. Like easy. Easy. Yeah, oh, wait, you still got one more question? Maybe not. You might be able to. <laughs> you don't. In okay, surrogates, Christian. Who... In surrogates, who plays the leader of the humans against the use of surrogates known by the name Prophet? Oh, God. Um, you know what? The leader I of the humans? I probably should have seen that Come movie on, go to multiple after choice, Moses. Help me out here. Smith I think last year, it's... I didn't. I don't know it's why. It's got to be Bruce Willis. He's going to... No, no, no. He's not the leader of the humans. Michael Clark Duncan. Uh, Isn't he in a movie Michael called Surrogates? Or, 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 or is that the surrogate? Michaeletti no, he, 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 it's the same thing. But it's it's uh, but they ask him for the villain. I'm going for D. Uh, Michael Clark Duncan. I'm gonna say Michael J. White. Oh. Oh, he got it right, but I have no idea what he said. I don't know. So. No, don't worry. 2016, he got it. He got it right. I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, he was right. Uh, I'm just happy that I didn't bomb the round. So either way, Moses is up by four. He started off really strong in that round. Um, had to go to multiple a couple times, let up a steal, but he still has a pretty healthy lead with four points going into yeah. the third round. So Yeah, I mean, and to give you the situation here, uh, Moose Moose had a very uh, expensive bottle of, uh, of nice stuff behind him, ready to celebrate. And Amaru was literally in a room at at a family function at, the, at their place, and they were barbecuing outside, and he was excited to go join the barbecue. And so... They're both sort of thinking about how they're going to celebrate right. after winning the match the because they're both still in it at this point. Look, four points is not a sure thing. We have seen nope. a lot of leads nope. uh, go away, especially this season. Mm -hmm. The five pointer has been the kiss of death for a lot of competitors. But look at look at this. Look at how calm you can see the yeah. intensity. Yeah. But these these fellas, they've been watching the game for Moose so long now, not necessarily me. competing in the movie trivia showdown because they're both rookies, but they know how to control their emotions. They know how to focus on the moment at hand. And that is what is so impressive about these two guys. Totally. They're both. I mean, they're both showing that they deserve to be here and both at a high level. Right. Because this is this is the big test for both of these guys, because they being able to hang in there, be able to move and play. Like, Getting three straight victories, if whoever can do that by collision to get to a title shot, that's not easy to do in the inner geekdom. Singles at this point, three straight victories does not guarantee you a single match. But that's look at the evolution of what happened with singles. You know, uh, inner geekdom at one point, the only people that were ever really contending for belts was, J uh, excuse me, Jason Inman, Rachel Cushing, Mike Kalinowski, and Mara Kanopic. Like that was that was your that, that was it. Now there's it's so open now. There's so yeah. many new competitors, so but still people. build, build, build. That's what these guys are doing, and they're proving today that they should be here. I uh, I got a little bit of sun since we uh, taped this match. Yeah, where'd you go? Backyard. Yeah, I mean, I got a nice, nice, nice pool for for my night and not swimming. Your pool okay. that you had at that one apartment complex was the best. Sherry O'Terry, remember? She used to be over there all the time. Uh, yeah, me and me and Sherry had quite a good time at that pool. Yeah, did you ever talk to her? All the time. Just cool. She's really. Yeah. Cool we dated for three months. That's I, I appreciate that. I'm glad, I'm glad that that happened. I need to happen. So it's very surprised Haas. you guys broke up. I thought you'd be together nine, for the. Five, hey, five, hey, six, you and me both. Five, nine, yeah. Five, six. Look at this. Guy. Like his phone number or something. Where'd that like cat that? go? See, I told How you that cat took are off. An left. Phone yeah. number. Trust me. And no, the the, the cat's going to show up again. I believe. Really? Much too. Much to the cat's chagrin. I was waiting for chagrin. I'm glad you used chagrin because I would have been upset if. Is you that one of my words? No, but it was just the setup uh, was calling for it. So okay. now, if you please could to look up these answers because I'd like to hopefully have the answers. Right, right. I'll look up these answers because unfortunately Christian doesn't have a computer with him. Oh yeah, except the one in front of me. Um, <laughs> 
Man, we really got a good two-man show going here. I think so. Check out the big thing. It's on uh, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Yeah, you can watch all three episodes before we quit. Four, four episodes. You've been you've been on. Oh yeah, you know what? We made him even more than. What is this point to? Uh, which MCU character said you made my men some of the most highly trained professionals in the world look like a bunch of minimum wage mall cops? It's uh, got to be uh, Nick Fury, right? No, it's Coulson in the movie Thor. Uh, I believe which that is shows uh, up for the second time. Is it Nick Fury? Is it in, Robert uh, Redford? This, um, oh, maybe. In this match. Uh, we'll find out if he's going to get it. Did he get it? it was 20, oh, he had to. It was twenty. Haas got it. Yeah, Haas got it. So whatever yeah. it was, Haas got it. It's 20. So now, three-point yeah. question to take the lead. I don't even have he to look this, it up. I know otherwise, the he can get himself out of that two. 2KO I watched territory. That and you know time. Sam's looking for that. Who plays Gene? The producer Who plays of Gene? Franklin's. Great name. The producer of Murray oh. Franklin's late-night TV show. Yeah, I, I, Joker. I, I, that's, know, uh, I know the that's, guy. Um, I know. What's his name? Get there. Uh, Mark Maron. Very good. Got yeah, it. Mark Maron right, and All right, so Moose gets that Mark one. Marone. And now it's gonna yeah. it's gonna bounce back to Moses. I needed to get, Moses I needed has to have to this two pointer. Now Moses hits the two pointer. Then it will bounce back to Moose, and then Moose will have to hit the Moose. five. And that is again the five pointers have been brilliantly written by the writing team this year. The writing team yeah, has been. I just team. I love the fact that I think that Joker question is a worthy three point question for inner geekdom players. It's a two pointer for you and I for different reasons. <laughs> oh I mean I think it's the same. I was saying well I mean I knew I well, one of the very few ones that, that I would know in this entire yeah. division. It's so funny. I remember Marin coming around the comedy store like years before I mean he was there all the time obviously but but way before the his podcast was even a thing. He was just Mark. Yeah, yeah. He, I had to fight my first time in the belly room Friday night, packed house. He was up third, I was up fourth. It was, uh, it was a fight. Yeah, I'm sure. So here we go. This is the two pointer for Moses. Moses needs to hit this in order to bounce it back to Haas and force Haas to hit his five pointer. Here it is. What event right, causes the great? What event causes the, the great forest? disturbance in the forest felt by the Obi Wan? Destruction of Alderaan. Alderaan. Could you be a little sensitive? So Oh, to the so family. Older and God. Wasted. Right was Sorry. We're gonna have to edit this. Okay. And five. What would be really funny is if you didn't have any sound. <laughs> Great. Right, the whole time. What if? What if this whole thing we were doing the whole time? He that, said Older on blows up. Uh, I said the mirror, destruction of Older on. Another to voice over that. Two yep. correct answers, yep. but we just keep doing it on a loop. So I now Moose has to hit it. Way mine if was hits it, uh, then it's gonna bounce back to Moses. But Moses. if Moose li- misses it, then Moses is going to the Moose, collision Moses, as a number Moose, one Moses. contender Moose, Moses, match against miss. Saul to try to cancel the Saul show. With <laughs> sound. With sound, yeah. In <laughs> studio. That match Hopefully would be with in sound. studio. So here it is. There is the five-point question. And Roddy it McDowell is Planet of the two Age. Different characters Roddy McTell. Played Caesar two different characters and, profe- in the and Dr. Cornelius of the Apes franchise. That's not a five-pointer! Come on, that's a one-pointer! One. I'll look this one up. I think it's going to be Zeus. Caesar right? and Cornelius. No. He played the Did father and the son. That's a one-pointer in Planet of Whatever the Apes. He got it. So Give me a break! He hit it. That's a big... What a great pull. So Moses needs to hit both. Moses a needs to hit his three. And it, well, no, well is, he really just um, needs to hit his five. The other but the three will be uh, for us some extra points. Uh, car- the other Did he actress hit it, who played yeah, he hit it. three different 26, roles 22. in all yeah, five I of the original a, uh, challenge. That's a five point. I thought there was a challenge, but I'm not Natalie sure. Natalie. Again, I'm just. Something. We do a lot of matches, though. Damn it. I need, I need to, I need to, uh, to It looks that. like we have progressed, though. Natalie yeah, Duran, I question. think. So 26 22. Haas is up and has an opportunity. To go to the collision if Moses misses his five pointer. You can hit the three all day long. Here it is, a three point question mark. Mm-hmm. Star Trek Nemesis, who plays uh, Remin Vice. In Star Trek Nemesis, the only person I know in that movie is Tom Hardy. Hardy. Yeah, all right, so he got that quick. And he knew that, and he was yeah. almost like uh, frustrated with that question. All right, so it's 26 25. Wait, Moses is, now. That's his name? Five the pointer. Hardy character? I, I, and it, and it can I I, I hit this, Come on. go to the collision. This is big. If he hits it, if he misses it, Moose Haas, who is just chowing down on some snacks over there, getting ready to move. Here is the big five-point question. Will it be Moses? Will Natalie it be Trundy. Haas? 
Who Natalie is Trundy going was in all, to was the in collision? We're about to find out with Planet this big five-point question. Characters. I'm excited for it. Just look at how good Drew and I are at building suspense. Yeah, I mean, it's, of course, it's like it's almost I mean, like you, you don't hear anything at all. You don't hear. You, a wouldn't, you wouldn't know by by Moose's demeanor that anything's on the line, but that's that's just Indiana part of the Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Crusade. What is the name of the secret group that has been changed with with protecting the the rail? Do you know this? No, do you? The Brotherhood of the Cruciform Sword. And yes, I knew it before I asked it. Looks like he got it. Looks like Moses wins. And you're the winner! Amaroon Moses! Moses does it. He is going to the collision to face... Saul, there is the victory by Moses. He is now 2-0. Hard-fought victory by the silent assassin, Amaru Moses. It was such an incredibly well-played match, and what I loved about that, it that is the twists and turns one. it took. Because, look, at, you and I have done a number of these matches. It doesn't matter what division it is. If yeah. you had two competitors whose knowledge base is perceived to be about even, and one of them gets a couple questions stolen in round two. You think this could be done, so, but man, Moose hung in there well, nailing his five pointer and forcing Amaru to hit the his. Very easy five that pointer. is what it takes to get to the next level and integrate them. I think both these guys have the right stuff. Amaru getting the win today, and he is gonna have a well, it's probably a round trip ticket, but it's more exciting to say a one way ticket to the collision. You said it though, it's a matter of persistence and composure and that's what both these guys did today yep. because moose was in trouble after that round he let up like three points in round two and then luckily enough for him moses hits opponent's choice moses fought very well in opponent's choice though did, did pretty good navigated around and even after hitting opponent's choice and still saw himself with a four point lead going in around number three but they both boom 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 both 10 points in that final round they both proved that they should be in the division but today Amaru Moses was the better player today as he goes on to be in a number one contender match against Saul that match is going to be insane because these are two of the hungriest competitors that we've seen in quite a while especially out of the rookie class well, well Saul's not a rookie but still yeah, and folks, like we said, we, we really do want to give uh, Mr. Moses and Mr. Haas their due because not only did they perform brilliantly in the actual match, their personalities were on display. They were having fun with each other, but there was also a lot of gamesmanship combined with the sportsmanship. They both were very complimentary of each other, but they both were locked in, focused, wanting to win, and you could feel that intensity throughout the three-round match. We hope that you all got a little bit of it through your screen as we watched it on our screen, as as we struggled to guess along with it. You just see how deep their knowledge is, how broad their knowledge is in the world of inner geekdom. An incredibly well-played match, and we're sorry we didn't have the audio, but you did get to see who won. Congratulations to Amaru Moses. We'll see you at Collision, bud. That's right. We'll see you at Collision. That was a um, that was a battle for sure, and, and 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 also that should be noted for both these competitors when they were informed of the fact that we lost the audio. Both took it like absolute sportsmen and and champs, and and said, "Yeah, unfortunate, but we get it. We let them know we're going to be doing this particular thing. They get to see their stats. They get to see everything, and people get to see the game that they played because you still got an opportunity to see the points built and all of that, but." Nonetheless, the suspects pick up three big points here today. Amaru Moses is now going to a number one contender match at the collision. And listen to this card that we have for the collision thus far. And this is how it's going to open up in digital format. You're going to see the Star Wars Championship of the World. That is right. The champion, Andrew, the hunter, Dimolanta, puts the title on the line against number one contender, Laura Lights Out Kelly. Her second attempt to try to get the Star Wars Championship, looking to become the first woman competitor to win the Star Wars Championship. She is going to have an opportunity to do that in the first match of the collision. Match two, you just saw him. Amaru Moses in a number one contender match. He is 2-0. and oh. He will be facing Red Hot Saul. 2-1 and one with Red two hot. big knockouts going head-to-head in studio. That match will be. And number three, the wow. singles number one contender match. Undefeated. Good Kevin Goodenough-Smith goes up against 
the scorching hot Marisol McKee, Lady Justice at four and one. Marisol McKee is attempting to become the first female competitor with to merch. compete for the singles championship since Clark Wolf back in 2018. So there are some big matches there, but it shouldn't be taken away from the main event that night for the team's championship Three of the world. Three matches with the quirky champions, marks! The defending champions, Shazam, this. puts the belts on the line the against the team they took it off of the first time, and that is the two-time champions, Corruption, oh, wow. Mike Kalinowski, Chance Ellison, who looked That's to become the, uh, the first team, I believe, right? in history to win the belt. Three different I mean, times so four, what an event for collision it all takes place at the matches. end of july so make the sure july, you okay. check out that event if you want to get it it's the schmodown live.com or all patrons will get it patreon.com slash schmodown at the ten dollar and up level you get that event mark this was a lot of fun i gotta be honest checking the mic one two checking the mic okay it works now and we should have audio for the rest of the matches this season it's war folks and sometimes war games happen and the audio got unplugged i blame finn stalker at least his cat <laughs> yeah, the cat thing, that did not show up again so thank you guys to mark ellis to our great team here over at skybound to amaru moses moose haas the exchange moose! the suspects everybody who puts the show together thank you guys so very much and we will see you next time Okay, well, that happened, and it's unfortunate what happened, um, not that Moose won, a uh, lost, obviously, but uh, that the audio was, uh, I, the true loser here is the audio, can we just uh, put that on the table, anyways, uh, yeah, what happened, happened, and it sucks when these things happen, uh, being a guy doing stuff on YouTube myself, I am aware that these things happen uh, from time to time, and it, I hate it when it happens to me, and I'm a nobody. I cannot imagine what what it's like when it happens to uh, something like the Schmodown, which is like you know thousands of views and and, and all that, so many moving parts. But uh, yeah, congratulations to Amaru. Uh, as you can see, I am a man of my word. I uh, uh, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. And, uh, yeah, like I said, congratulations for uh, the winner. As you can see here, I got 14 questions that I know I got them right. Could be more. I and As a matter of fact, I know it could have been more if not for the audio mishap. There was definitely a question that I, the Robocop question, I was considering three. Then I changed it to two right around the same time that Christian said the answer. So, like, okay, uh, I thought about it, but I didn't think about it fast enough. So I'm not giving myself a point for that. Uh, I'm, I, I, I think I got the uh, Gandalf quote question right in uh, round two. And um, the second question, Amaru's second question, Am Amaru's three-pointer I think I would have gotten it if I wasn't too focused on uh, something else. So, uh, yeah. So, it's 14 now, but potentially 17. I'm good in Inner Geekdom. I mean, as I've mentioned, I TKO'd somebody in a Patreon match uh, just last week. Which got kind of got me thinking, maybe I should buy the TKO shirt. Who knows? But anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, it's unfortunate when these things happen, but these things happen, and uh, that's the end of the matter. So, uh, thank you all for uh, watching this if you have. I hope you all guys enjoyed the match. Uh, I can see right now that uh, the live event, uh, the number one container match, apparently dropped on YouTube yesterday or something like that. What? I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to watch and react to that one tomorrow. And, um, yeah, that's all I can say for now. So, goodbye, everybody. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.